Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. We were last here a couple of weeks ago. What has changed is clearly several of the panelists found alternative means of transportation to the nation's capital. The request has gone from $25 billion to $34 billion, so I'll be interested to figure out what has changed there. Here's what hasn't changed. Nobody in this room wants to see the big three fail. Uh, it is a catastrophic consequence uh, for our nation. But what hasn't changed also is that every industry, every industry in America is hurting today. Now show me one that isn't. Show me one that couldn't be assisted and made more viable and more profitable with an additional $34 billion. Uh, so why the folks before us and not other folks back home? Something else that hasn't changed is that this year over a half a million small businesses, the job engine of America, half a million small businesses will go under. A number of them in my district, the 5th District of Texas. Uh, they could be saved by $34 billion. New small businesses could be launched with $34 billion. Here's something else that hasn't changed. Unless consumers demand more of these vehicles and unless the labor cost of the big three become more competitive, $34 billion, $44 billion, $54 billion, name your number, will not solve the problem. Uh, there is a concept of throwing good money after bad. I'm anxious to hear about the plans. Last but not least, what hasn't changed is the taxpayer is already $25 billion light on sending money to the big three. Now, you gentlemen haven't received it because it's tied to fuel efficiency metrics, but there is bipartisan legislation that I would be happy to support to release those funds to you now, but seemingly the Speaker of the House uh, doesn't want to move that direction for fear of a political battle between the UAW and the environmental movement. But if it's truly emergency, that money should be reprogrammed. I yield back.